And hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of the Shellcast. I'm here today with three people. And who and, are those people? <laughs> and those people are Icepick. Yo. Nako. Hello. And KI. Hello. And today, we are going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch. Since the presentation just happened a few days ago. As well as um, my own personal impressions on the Switch since I got to try it out over the weekend. Right, because so, you we, live in uh, New York, so you're right by Nintendo NY, and they had. So, what did you think right. of it? Well, I had I, I I personally thought it was great. Um, the fact that um, the Joy Cons are pretty small, but even even if you have big hands, it still feels comfortable. Surprisingly enough, um, if you it, if you if you think the if you have questions about like the rumbles, like the HD rumbles or anything. The HD rumbles are actually really good. Like, they're very responsive. Like, what specifically makes it a high-definition rumble? Honestly? Like, like let's say if you're playing Mario Kart 8 and, like, you're doing all the drifting, you could feel the rumble, like, when you're drifting, when you're um, drawing an item or getting hit by one, um, getting coins. So you're kind saying of- that the force feedback uh, varies based on what's happening to you as opposed to just being, you know... A- sort of consistent rumble it feels like i noticed something when they were doing the presentation where uh this guy was like shaking it and it was like there were ice cubes in his glass yeah and like it was different for when there was one cube two and three yep so it is similar to that it is similar to that that's interesting i gotta give it that much yeah mm-hmm. i mean i never really care for the rumble whole thing because i mean after playing a game for a while your hand starts getting like numb. It's like putting, you know, like having a having a vibrator in your hand for like an you know, hour. The, the ironic thing about that is that I always thought that rumble sort of massaged my hand, so it actually helped me from like you know getting too tight on my grip. It's not for me. What would usually happen to me is um, it would start getting kind of numb, and then I would get like an itch on my palm. It's a good thing right. most games let you turn that off, then, right? Right. Yep. Yeah, it's probably just like how sensitive you are to it. Cause yeah, if you if you get numb, then you'll itch when you come out of being numb. Yeah, cause um, like right now, I I, I like to see how like all of these um games are gonna be like. Cause it, it like everything's gonna be different for each for the rumble, but um overall, I like how it is so far. So what games did you actually get to play um, at the Switch event over at Nintendo NY? Well, it's actually at a private location and not a Nintendo NY. Oh, I apologize. I was under the impression that it was at the Nintendo store. All right, so the games I got to play... The first game I got to play was Splatoon 2. And even though, like, um, I decided to use gyro controls for this, because I didn't really use gyro controls in the first game that much, um, but... It it, 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 it's like if you could play Splatoon one, you could definitely adapt very well. Splatoon two is just controlling um the the Joy Cons because that, that's how I played it. Um, it'll take a little time to get used to, but it, it definitely is really good, and I'm definitely looking forward to playing this one as it comes out. Let's see, were there any noticeable differences like in graphical quality between it and Splatoon one? It's a little more sharper. Um, you could actually see it's like a little bit more brighter. Um, it's not much different in regards to visuals, but it, it, they, it's just the resolution makes it a little more better. Yeah. Um, did you? Did yeah. anyone like reps or anything mention anything about its single player mode? I haven't heard anything about that yet. Have well, I'm sure that there not- is a single player. Um. I have not oh, heard they, anything about it yet. Yeah, I'm sure there is, but they haven't mentioned it yet. I mean, I know yet. there's a story, so I'd assume so. Sorry, Neko, what were you going to say before? I said that it's most likely going to have the single player, because not everybody plays, you know, games like that just for the multiplayer. 
Yeah, in the main thing I want to know, like, I mean, it would be great if the single player was longer than the first game. Like, the single player quality was very high, but it was pretty short. I like yep. the boss awesome. fights the most. Honestly. Well, what I would like to know is if in the story you can play as the purple, because in the first one I heard you couldn't, because they were the bad guys. Oh, the Octolings. Yeah, Those the Octolings things. used purple, and that's why you couldn't use it. They just gave you a random color on every stage, pretty much. Yeah. Every time is gonna be random, um, but when I play, like we did two match, like we did two matches where um, we just did one regular match and then we did another turf war match. Like they had asked us to switch weapons before the next match. Where was this? Just private location, like secret? It's like in a hotel, like this big hotel that was somewhere downtown and. Managed to have enough room to ha- to fit about 250 to 300 people. Fuck me. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Yeah, in, I mean, in one hotel room or just one hotel? It, it's just the hotel itself. In a I think spa- it means like a conference room, right? Yeah, some sort of conference space. Ah, okay. I yeah. Get it. Yeah. After Splatoon 2, the next game I played was um, Mario Kart 8 deluxe but since mario kart 8 like the main mode is obviously the same thing i'm going to talk about the battle mode the battle mode is just like the old ba- the old school battle modes and that's the way everybody wanted and it's really good i mean what was the difference between the um battle mode and mario kart 8 i, I didn't really play it mario didn't kart. have its own tracks you just went on the race tracks and tried to battle which they weren't designed for that so that made it to you it made it very difficult to have normal battles oh, so that was the only difference was just the okay fair yeah enough. yeah that was the worst thing about the original mario kart 8 and this i feel addresses all of that um we actually have actual stages um the stage that i played on was one of the super nintendo Mario Kart 8 battle Mario Kart battle modes and you start with five balloons and you have to get the most amount of points to win hmm. yeah the funny thing about it is that I noticed that the uh, Splatoon stage is also a battle arena and at first I was like ah it would have been cooler to have a new racetrack but I mean considering Splatoon sort of uh, gameplay it makes more sense to have it as a battle stage yeah, yeah it does yeah, but overall, I'm definitely excited for Mario Kart 8's battle mode. I would actually get it for that, because battle. I always like battle mode. I always thought it was fun. My favorite one being in um, Double Dash. Diaz was good, too. I think I'm just looking forward to some of the new characters. Yeah, oh, yeah, Mario. I just said, too bad there's no new courses, like race courses. Oh, yeah, I think with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, it's like, and you can see, I'm not... 100% sure if I would want to get it full price since I already have Mario Kart 8, but considering that's, um, I guess if you don't already have Mario Kart 8, it's a fantastic value, and, um, it's like apparently in PlayStation 4 released The Last of Us Remastered a year after the first one, but Nintendo releasing Mario Kart 8 three years later with more new content than remaster had is somehow a crime against humanity and also even more content than the uh wii version itself had even with the dlc yeah Yeah, i kind of wish that they do if you own it on the wii u they give you at least a discount on the deluxe i mean i think the way that they try to you know circumvent that would be like oh well i mean you could just sell your old copy and and bam (laughs) You know GameStop is going to do all those trade-ins. Oh, you have yeah, Mario but Kart. you don't get as much for trade-ins at all. That's why I don't trade in. Exactly. Yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, it's like, that is one of the few cases, like, if that, like, get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for $20, if you trade in the original Mario Kart, I'd probably do it. I mean, that is incredibly unlikely. That would. I mean, like, do you know how much you would get for a trade-in? Uh... Like, like, like like ten dollars. Yeah, not even ten dollars. Sometimes five or six. Well, no, I'm saying. I mean, Nintendo. See, even games. Nintendo stuff. games hold value better. Like Mario Kart Eight. Um, like when you would, trade in a new game, you'll get more. And since Nintendo games are hard enough to find used anyway, 
it counts. Yeah. I wonder so, why that is. Well, it's because Nintendo, Nintendo games, um, they keep their value, basically. People don't want to... People don't buy Nintendo games, play the campaign in a weekend, or play multiplayer mode for a few weeks until they get bored and trade it in. People hold on to Nintendo games. Oh, and I just want to just throw this out there. Um, I just found out about it now. Reggie just confirmed no friend codes on the Switch. So okay, I mean, I they mean, haven't had that friend came codes obvious since. because they didn't have friend codes. On yeah, them. that would have. I mean, that would have been pretty disastrous. That would have been a step yeah. backwards. Yeah. But I, I guess good for those who have been worrying, like anyone is worrying. But I mean, yeah, we. I mean, why would they go back to friend? Yeah, we you didn't have friend codes. I mean, I yeah. thought. I mean, I thought. I think that was the stupidest thing. Oh, trust well, me, it was worse before. I, was it the DS or was it the Wii that had friend codes per game? Both, Both of those. them. That, that was the worst. That, that was, was the, the absolute yeah, 3DS worst. was significantly less bad with that than Wii and DS were, and it was still ridiculous. But yeah, it's been it's been um, last time they released a system with friend codes was six years ago. There's no reason to believe they'll ever come back. Yeah. Yeah. Especially considering they're putting a paywall to have the friends code thing would be a total. <laughs> A yeah. total yeah, Actually, they. I wonder what the reaction would have been if they did that. You can play online for free, but you have to use friend codes. <laughs> actually, that'd be a good idea, honestly. Yeah. Oh, God, that'd be awful. <laughs> <laughs> but and that'd, it, be, it, and that'd be very clear, like just them being assholes because. Uh, I don't know. I'd I'd kind of prefer to have a company be like openly spiteful towards me as opposed to this. Like, you know, backhanded bullshit that most of them pull. Mm-hmm. And it would be like, there would be no justification for that. It would not save them any money. In fact, it would cost them money. They would be spending money just to spite people who didn't pay for the online. I mean, by yeah. that logic, there was no reason that phone companies should have ever been charging for text messaging. Because it doesn't cost them any money to do that. Right. Anyway, yeah, it doesn't cost them extra money to go in. They, they would have made profit from it. Nintendo, they they made they charge for text messaging to make money. Nintendo implementing friend codes to spite you if you don't get the premium online doesn't make them any extra money. It just inconveniences you. And um, yeah, what were you saying, Shell? Yes, sir. Well, any, anyway, so the next thing, the next game I played was Ultra Street Fighter Two, and. Obviously, it's just like Street Fighter 2. I mean, is oh. it better than HD Remix? Yes, it's better than HD Remix. I am oh. never going to use the Udon. That shit is ugly. That shit yeah. is ugly, and I hate it, and KI doesn't understand why Then why do they why keep using it. it? Well, they used it in this case. Because, see, it's like, I'm okay if they use it, but I'm, I am I just want the option to not have to look at that garbage ever again. <laughs> I mean, I didn't find that, it that ugly. I mean, Cammy didn't look too bad. Neko, but, you've never... Neko, look at the backgrounds at some point. Look at the... <laughs> no, uh, I thought you were talking about the profile pictures. No, like, no, not the... I don't give a fuck about the profile. The, the game looks fine in still shots. Oh, but if you look at it in motion, the game is hideous. Oh, okay, you're talking about, like, the backgrounds and shit. Like, you know those, um... You know, like, those remakes of, like, old arcade games, like, uh, the, the, the Wonder Boy remake? Has yes. anyone seen that? Yeah, it looks like a yet. mobile game or like a flash game or something. Yeah. That's how HD Remix looks in motion. It is hideous. And you should you should you should see how E Honda looks. <laughs> isn't E Honda, isn't Honda like fifty feet tall and made of gold? <laughs> <laughs> well yeah. well I play the H D remix either though. You know we should like play that for shits and giggles at some point. Yeah. It gives me cancer. But like, but this That's a risk we're willing to take. I mean, but it's like for Ultra Street Fighter 2, it's definitely a lot of fun. Um, what happened was that I played a couple of games, and I and I actually won a free poster autographed by Yoshinori Ono. Oh, that's oh. that's cool. Yeah. Who are you yeah. using? Just Honda. I use Honda. I also beat beat one of the Capcom staff with Akuma, and he he, he was using Violent Ken. Yeah, we're hoping Violent Ken shows up 
in that pa- season two pack of characters. And yeah, it's, I, I, it's not specifically that I hope. I have a theory. And it's yeah, terrible. but it sounds like it could work. Cause okay. Did, wasn't it only in King of Fighters? No, he, he was only in SVCKS. Uh, okay, oh, so okay, I'll explain this to you because I don't think you heard about this one. And clearly neither have uh, the audience. Um, mm-hmm. Basically, you know how um, Capcom said that all... Of the other five characters in Season 2 of Street Fighter V are characters that have never been playable in a Street Fighter game before. Well, the earliest Ultra Street Fighter 2 can come out is March, and we've got at least one character coming out before that. And I think it could possibly be Violent Cut. And there was like a small tease somewhere inside... um... Ultra Street Fighter 2's trailer. Yeah, it's weird. See... They brought back the VR mode from 3DS uh, Street Fighter 4, or Super Street Fighter 4, rather. Yeah, I have to wonder if this could actually lead to a potential Switch version of Street Fighter oh, 5. No, no, no. You know what the... Vi- <laughs> I just had another evil one. Okay. <laughs> what if it's... <laughs> Dying. What if it's Ultra Street Fighter 4 Turbo on the Switch? Oh my god. <laughs> Another one. Oh god. Just imagine. I mean, <sighs> the Ryu <laughs> graphics did look like Street Fighter 4 more than Street Fighter 5. Oh. Well, that would be interesting. I mean, I. Considering this is Street Fighter 2 version 8, uh, yeah, there's no reason we can't get our Street Fighter 4. Right. And, yeah, and considering that Capcom is celebrating the 30th Street Fighter's anniversary. 30, yeah, they, they, I think they're probably going to go all out with this one. I don't know I got, why, but I've got this odd sensation in the back of my head that something else should be celebrating its 30th anniversary this year, but I'm, I can't... I I mean, my brought, finger, right? There's a good chance it will, but yeah, I mean, it's decide not... if it's based on the wrong cartoon that you're not going to accept it. We'll talk about Mega Man, aren't we? Can't yes. We... <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that every time I hear people, it's, it's Street Fighter's 30th anniversary, and I'm just like, hmm. I'm gonna give them till E3, and if they don't announce something, I'm just gonna give everything. I'm give giving up. them till December seventeenth, twenty seventeen. And after oh yeah, that, I forgot about I'm, that. They're done. Okay. They're dead to me. Well, anyway, <laughs> so, um, but yes, Ultra Street Fighter Two is definitely a lot of fun, and I will definitely pick it up once it's out. It looks like fun. Yeah, it does look yeah. like fun. I can't wait to like get it. Yeah, it, it, it yeah, it was very popular when I when I went to see this game. Also, Bomber, I want to play Bomberman next. Um, Super Bomberman R. How is that, how is that anyway? I'm, I'm worried because Konami's making it. Oh, it's great. But I heard it, they used... Yeah, Mercury, Mercury, Mercury Steam did a great job. Oh, God. <laughs> no, but it, it, it plays just like any of the best Bomberman games. That's good, because I'm interested in it. I like the uh, art style. It kind of reminds me of Puyo Pop Fever. Yeah, and I'll get to that in a minute. But um, oh. so, but for Super, Bo- Super Bomberman R, um, they they actually got a lot of former Hudson devs that worked on the Bomberman games. So that's a good sign right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that and Nintendo went to Konami for this, so... Yeah, Konami's not going to remember they own Bomberman on their own. Yeah, because cause Bum- cause Konami knows that like they could have just made Bomberman Pachinko Machines, but they think it's already too late for that. So you know what? They're like, yeah, Nintendo, we're going to make this game. So, Super Bomberman R lives, and if it becomes very successful, maybe we might get some more Hudson games coming back. Like Bloody if- Roar? <laughs> Bloody Roar, Bonk. Um, like, I always get confused and think they actually made that Bonk remake because they made the Adventure Island <laughs> remake. The worst part about that is that the Bonk remake was actually finished and then they just decided not to release it. Yeah. Yeah, that seems to happen a lot with some games, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. But, like, but Bomberman, like, the fact that it's a launch title is pretty good, too. Like, Yeah, so, maybe they'll actually release a new Castlevania, or at least release some of the old ones. Or Contra. Uh, I mean, they did, Contra. I mean, they did re-release a Castlevania pretty recently on NES Classic. Yeah. 
Well, then, then that, of that gives me hope because I like to see Rondo of Blood. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Come back because I think it was only on the Wii. Yeah, I mean, it, was it was also on, also on the PS. Yes, I mean, that the title truth. I mean, I don't know what the thing is, but I would love it if they would put the PSP version on Switch. Yeah, you know, have have both games, like the original, the remake. Yeah, I would have those. I would also have Dragon Symphony of the Night to the Switch, and well, would... it actually Symphony of the Night would come in that pack if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, and you could play as uh, Maria too. Which... I mean, am I right? You are, it? Yeah, Symphony of the yeah. Night is on there. Yeah, it came with Symphony of the Night, the original Rondo of Blood, and the R- Rondo of Blood remake. Yep. Yeah, That's I would so. definitely, I would definitely be in for that. Um, yeah, that would be awesome. I mean, I'm so shocked that they got this guy a five. I don't want a better version than the one I actually bought on the PS4. I mean, technically yeah. it is better because they don't have to pay for the DLC extra. And speaking of this guy at 5, that was actually the next game I did play after Bomberman. And where have this series been in my life? I don't understand why they would have a demo. It just seems like a game that wouldn't work all that well as a demo. I mean, it, I know, actually, it, it, it doesn't. It shouldn't work that much as a demo because it's an RP. It's a strategy RPG or turn-based oh. RPG or something. I mean, okay, I guess so, if they could demo Fire Emblem, then sure. But like, I mean, with um, this guy, they actually did have like a demo specifically for the event. So like, they already have like the characters like all powered up and everything, as well as the bosses. It's how just could so. You... Could you tell if they got any new voice acting? Um. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. They said you could have a free Kira Buckland. <laughs> no. Yeah. The, yeah, the, the, the voice. The voice. Kara, yeah. Carol Buckland is voicing that pink-haired girl. Kira, Kira Buckland. What is it? What is the? Does it that matter voice? if I said her name wrong? No, I'm just correcting you. What is it? What is but like, the, um. What is the name of the macho guy with the long hair and the macho voice? Uh. <sighs> I think he has red hair. Yeah, he has red hair. He's fr- uh, from a different nether world. Um, shit, I forgot his name. Yeah, he- uh, it seems like a character Ice Pick would like. He's a character I would personally like. Yeah, I, I th- this this game like this is actually making me want to get into the Disguise series even more now. Like, I mean, I've I've been in the Disguise series from day one, so yeah. Wait, really? From day one? Yes, I got the first one right off the bat because it looked so interesting, and then I just fell in love. Yes, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm getting into it. Like, so I will definitely get this guy a five on the Switch. Um, I mean, uh, D2 was really good, even though a lot of people sub- hated it for reasons. Yeah, it was only it was the first true sequel to one of the freaking games too. I think the reason that people hated this guy at D2 is I heard a lot of people say that they thought it was too easy. Mm, they, it was a little easy, but they in Disguise Five had the same mechanics, you know, like the cheat shot uh, and stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. I probably should start with D two. Is that on a recent recent consoles? Yes, PS three. Yeah, let's see. Um, the next game I played. Actually, yeah, you could start with D two. Yeah, yeah. D one had a lot of. I mean, uh, Sky One had a lot of problems, but the PC yeah. version they really fixed a lot. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like, I mean, if D2, if its main issue is that it's too easy, then it sounds like a good thing to start with. That's a good yeah. point. Plus, you already saw the story of Disgaea 1 via my stream, anyway. Or right. if you didn't, then you could yeah. at least catch it that way. Yeah, That's they true, actually yeah. have a, a thing in this style D2 where, um, remember when I you unlock Edna's, like, chamber? Yeah. You can unlock it again, and it tells you everything that happened in the last game. Oh, ah, well, there you go, then. Yeah. Anyway, so the next game I played was Sonic Mania. Oh, I can't wait for that. That looks like a lot of fun. Studiopolis Zone is so trippy. I mean, I noticed that the aesthetic for Studiopolis reminds me of um, Sonic CD a lot. It does. And uh, Knuckles Chaotix as well. It's like you mix them both and um, you create this really awesome stage. Say, which character did you use or... Were you only allowed to use Sonic? I was only allowed to use Sonic, but Tails was right behind me. Oh, so, oh. Yeah. Oh, they're doing that again, yeah, I'm huh? glad that they have that option, because you can just play Sonic, you can just play as Tails, and you can just yeah, play as Knuckles. They only had two stages. They had Studiopolis, and they had Green Hill. I only played the Studiopolis. I mean, and Green Hill's... I can't wait to play as Knuckles. Yeah, I'm Green Hill is... Yeah. 
I'm hoping he has his glide back. And Green Hill is a Sonic Generation style like new level with the. No, old I know that. I'm just right. saying that if you want, if you could only play one stage. Yeah, I know. I was just confirming to make sure that it was. I yeah. Know it is. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he'll get his glide back. I mean. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah 2D knuckles. They would. They wouldn't take away his glide. Yeah. I'm just wondering if they'll leave in his inability to read. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, there's no text, so how are we ever going to know? Yeah. But the stages That's are funny, pretty. Ice pick. Very the funny. St- the stages are as big as Sonic Three and Knuckles. Well, that's a good sign. Yeah. That's always good to know. Oh, and how many acts in a stage? I was only allowed to play one act. Ah, I see. Yeah, due to the time of the whole event, which was three hours for everyone. I mean, how many TVs did they have going? Let's see. For Sonic Mania, they had four, like four TVs. I mean, did they have, like, multiple TVs for each, like, game? Yeah, they usually do. It's Yeah. So, I mean, how many TVs were going at once? I lost count. It was just too many. Probably, like, in the hundreds, I'd say. Probably. Um, Yeah, but Sonic Mania, it's actually being ported by this company, Tantalus. Yeah, they do a lot of Nintendo ports. Yeah, they did Twilight yeah. Princess, if I remember and correctly. And Deus Ex Human Revolution. Yeah, they also um, have interest in bringing stuff from like other platforms, including Wii U, over to the Switch. So, who knows what they'll do next. But Sonic Mania, I'm definitely picking up at launch. If there's a physical copy for the Switch, I will definitely pick it up. Well, I'm just glad Nipponichi has like branched out to other companies. I mean... You know, I mean, I, I was shocked when it hit Steam. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, they have, they're never Sony exclusive, like, I mean, the original this guy had a DS version. Right. Yeah, I, I uh, s- and for some reason that really fell through. Well, it, DS was less powerful than the system it debuted on. Yeah. Um, let's see, the next game I played, um, was Puyo Puyo X Tetris. Oh, I can't wait for that. I am... Most likely going to probably get it on PS4 first, if anything, because I don't know when I'm going to get a Switch. Yeah. But I might I'd, get it on both, honestly. Th- oh, th- that's what I was going to say. I was going to. I said that I might get it on both, because that game seems like it's whether going to be coming out here. Yeah, first. I know. I was, I was really... when Like, there were rumblings a while back, because someone dug up English trophies, and people were like, eh, that probably just means that there's going to be an Asian version. Yeah, because, you know, Asia will often put English text into their games. Well, I'm so glad it's coming out here. It's about damn time. Of course, now that region free is officially dead for everything, (laughs) Asian versions with English text are almost as good as American versions. Oh, no, I agree. I'm just saying that. I mean, that's the reason. I think that is a big part of the reason why Asian things are just incorporating English into everything. Yeah. <coughs> I'm just happy that they, now, they, they dropped the region lock. Now we are now free from... Uh, there is now nothing Reggie can do to hurt us. He can't hurt yeah. you anymore. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I just really like um, how it is. Like, if, if you like Puyo Puyo, if you like Tetris, it's definitely worth getting. I like getting. both of them. The best exactly. part about this is that this is what I always wanted out of Tetris Dr. Mario. Yeah. You get to you get to play against each other. One dude can be playing Tetris against another dude who's playing Puyo Puyo. That is what I have always wanted out of a crossover game like that. And now we're and now we're finally getting it. I mean, we actually yeah, we're we're finally getting it. Japan got it like a while ago. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it was Japan had it on Wii U and PS3, and now Hopefully like this means that uh, we'll be seeing more Puyo Puyo titles in the future. I know. Yes. I mean, I'm wondering, like, um, are they gonna bring back some of the old characters, or are they just? Oh. I mean, since it is being called Puyo Puyo, yes, I think you're more worried about the uh, panel de pan crew, which that's an entire. Oh yeah, that's different. what I'm thinking. We need. Of. We need. Pa- I, I. I said this the other night. We need panel de pan cross super puzzle fighter two. Yeah, I think and that's I what I'm really thinking. Enjoy. I think. Mean, I mean, I, I, and I would okay, yeah, I was thinking of that. that. Because yeah. I like Tetris Attack, but I like the original. I like some of the characters in it. You know. Yeah. Even though it wasn't that much different, Tetris Attacks and. 
I think yeah. Tetris attacks might have had some improvements over Panel to Pun, you know, just by nature of being like a later release. Mm hmm. Yeah. So yeah. like Doki Doki Panic and Super Mario Brothers 2. Mm, that's true. So the next game I played was um, this new indie game called Has Been Heroes. Ah, from the people uh, Frozen Bite, the guys who yeah. brought us the Trine trilogy. It's actually pretty good. Um, an interesting concept. Um, it's going to take a little time for me to get used to, like, switching around characters just so you can attack all the monsters. But um, it's fun. I mean, it looked well, interesting. Yeah, it looked interesting enough. Did you uh, see the game that Ice Pick thinks everybody hates? Which one? Project Arms. That's yeah, just Arms. Oh, I played yeah. Arms, and oh my God, Arms is really good. Well, people, don't give everyone, me that. Everyone who's played it likes it. I'm just saying that like every response to Arms I've seen has been like innately negative. Well, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, you know how I have not. Act that well, it's just people being assholes. Everyone who's actually played it like said, I mean, there's yeah. a there, there's a reason that the that the clickbait journalists cannot they can't even bring themselves to write Switch is terrible. They have to write Switch is great, but it's gonna fail. You know, it's funny, like because the crowd that I'm following all seem to be interested in this, like um, including the people that report the rumors, like um, like Emily Rogers, she's definitely up in arms for the game Arms, and yes, pun intended. Uh, I thought that that was like an accident, honestly. Well, you know, I, the only thing that worried me about it is that the whole motion control. I mean, I'm hoping that you can play it. There, yeah, it, yeah there is an option to just play it using a, a controller. controller. Because, I mean, that seems like that would exhaust you after yeah. a while. I mean, that's part of what makes me excited about it. And I like the fact that you've got both of them. Because I actually liked certain games with uh, the Wii Waggle controls. Like, I, I like Skyward Sword. I mean, I'll be honest with you, playing it for a while did actually, like, fuck up my arms a bit. Like, they were sore and tired the next day. Like, I'm well, like, what the hell did I do? And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, I was playing Skyward Sword. Now, there's one game I have not played, and that's 1-2 Switch. I didn't get a chance to play that one. To be fair... No. No one is, cares about no it. No one cares. No one. Isn't like, it it's basically going to be Nintendo Land. No, uh, it's, it's no, worse it's than be, that. It's oh. Wii Sports. Nintendo Land was. Nintendo Land went really above and beyond. Like, I, I, mean, um, I think that comparing it to either of them is an insult, honestly. Because yes. well, I wouldn't know because I never fun. even really played. And Nintendo Land was actually really fun for, a, especially since it was a one-two switch. Not being a pack-in game is a colossal mistake. Yeah. I don't think it would sell without that. Maybe if they sell it for 20 bucks, but that that's all I would give. No one yeah. wants this 50 game 50 bucks all. for it doesn't look impressive. But you wonder what you wonder what game actually surprised me? What's that? Um, Snipper Clips. Yeah, I, I took one look at that game. It is $20, which, okay, good price. But my problem with it is that the entire <laughs> game mechanic is basically like... Oh, man, it's... Let's see, how do I explain this? Um, you know how people got pissed off at the new Super Mario Brothers games on console because, like, you'd fuck each other over in multiplayer? Yeah. This uh -huh. just seems like that, the game. Okay, how does it work in single player? Because I know there is a single player <laughs> mode. Wait, is there a single player mode? Well, I haven't checked uh, for the single player, but we just only did the multiplayer, and, like, you have to do, like, these different missions, like, you snip, like, like, the other person, like, you're supposed to work together, but sometimes, like, you could work with somebody who's a complete dick. And yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying, this entire you over. game. Uh, it doesn't have like, online play. Is I don't know. Your, but... Should it have been called Your Dick, the game? <laughs> I mean, I, I just keep on calling it Nipple Clamps, honestly. <laughs> snip, the, snip, snip the dick. Yeah, nipple but Clips. Honestly, for the fact that it's 20 bucks, I'm actually more inclined on picking it up. I mean, yes, like, the price is right. That is true. Yeah, 1-2 Switch got it wrong. but 1-2 this... Switch should have been $20. Yes, 1-2 Switch should have been 20 um, And even then... <laughs> Ar arms could get away with um like forty to fifty bucks if depending and on arms like... is arms is full price. I mean, there's no reason 
there, there is nothing displayed in it showing that it shouldn't be. And people are like, it's the same thing they did with Splatoon. It's like, oh, we didn't see 50 hours of gameplay in a little, in the first demo. Obviously, this game has no content and should be free. Yeah, wh- what they should do with ARMS is, like, not only market the fact that, like, um, it's motion controls, you use the motion for that, but market the characters, like... I like get people the characters, acquainted, honestly. Get Although people I... acquainted to the characters, so that way, like, when they are getting this game, they know what they're getting into. I mean, the only thing about the characters is that, you know, that one guy, Springman, his name just sounds familiar to me. I feel like there could have been a company out there that could have, you know, like, done copywriting. For... Wasn't okay, look, there another it... game with the Springman in it? It's on the tip of my tongue. Look, no matter how... Or, even if Mega Man came back to full power, you really think they're going to want to acknowledge they own Mega Man 7? Oh my the God. worst part of it, I want them to remake Mega Man 7. I want <laughs> yeah. them to fix that shit. You know what I want? What? A re-release of Powered Up. Yes, yeah, that would be great too. too. Um, yeah, I, I want the sequel that they canceled. <laughs> trying to think of what... Nice. Yeah, like, Mega I... Man Universe would have been fun. Actually, they gonna... were working on a Mega Man Powered Up too. There were other games there, but they, I haven't played every game. Like, I skipped Zelda because the demo is actually the same one as from when I played it back in June. Um, Wait, so it wasn't on Switch? There, it, it is Switch, yes. It's I just the same demo. that it was the same gameplay. Yeah, same gameplay, same demo, everything, just on the Switch instead of the Wii U. Um, but I did watch my girlfriend play it, and um, it does look a lot sharper compared to um, the Wii U version. Um, other games they had, they had Just Dance 2017, and I didn't care for that. Um, Skylanders, Imagineers, and I'm like, that's another thing I don't really care for. Um, fa- the new Fast Racing game, like the sequel to Fast Racing Neo. Fast RMX, was it? I missed out on that one, but I heard it was good. Um, and I think there was one more, but, um, other than that, I played most of the games, and, like... The Switch itself, um, holding on to the whole, like, Switch, tablet, and everything, it's very, very light. Okay, I, d- I don't want to, I don't want to sound like I'm being negative towards Nintendo, but I saw a gaff, I, I saw a thread on NeoGaff today that actually showed a size comparison to the, uh, 3DS XL, and yeah. it's like, it's pretty much the same size as that, and I'm like, I really wish that Nintendo had made that clear during the, uh, during their presentation, because I'm like, that shit is actually really cool. Mm-hmm. I now understand why it's $300, but it took, like, a size comparison, honestly, to, yeah. to sort of uh, beat it into my head. See, I, he has these tiny hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, it's like, it's cool because of how tiny, it's like, I'm, I'm looking at this, and I'm like... Okay, yeah, this could be one of those things that you just, like, cart around and whatnot, but then I look at the actual size of the fucking thing, and I'm like, okay, no, wait, this is a portable. It's not a hand... It's not, like, a complete handheld, but it is a portable, and... Okay, that's cool. I'm, I'm cool I'm, with this. Yeah. I mean, this could actually be, an, like, an amazing handheld, depending on how... how people handle bring it to... Events. I feel like the uh, only I mean, real and issue. The is, go ahead. And the system is an is a technical marvel, considering it's a handheld. Everyone's trying to glance gloss over that. But yeah, I know everyone's it, like, oh, it's a, oh, it's a handheld and console. a console. It's not as Same. powerful as PS4. This is is like I would never have imagined they could have made a handheld this powerful at this point in time. I mean, yeah, yeah like it's like it's like sure, it may not be like a huge jump in regards to consoles. But when it comes to handhelds, the difference is night. The difference between a 3DS and this is night and day. I mean, that's I mean, like, what I'm. There, go ahead. There's still games like Super Mario Odyssey does look as good at, from I see as any PS4 game I've played. That looks amazing. I mean, yeah. that's what I'm trying. I'm not trying to hate on Nintendo for this. I just wish that they had made the size factor a little more um I was just saying, you were just saying like for this for, but that's like, the thing though it's like the gaff thread everyone like turned around they're like oh so it's not like a console size thing it's actually a fucking handout oh in that case it's actually really cool that's what i'm saying though is that people learned about that and they like did a 180 
I mean, like, at the conference, I mean, they, they showed it. They showed it in people's hands. It seems like a lot of that was just people making assumptions beforehand. Yeah, yeah I know that, but, I mean, if they had just, like, said, okay, compare it to our previous handheld, the, the 3DS XL, that shit would have... <laughs> that would have been, like, a killer... That would have been great. Yeah. This is the same size as a 3DS... You know, a 3D, a, a, a new 3DS XL, one of the screens. It is the same size as that, but it's all screen. Yeah, I'm just looking at the NeoGAF thread on the size comparisons, and someone's like, sell your firstborn for a Pro Controller. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm still going to get the Pro Controller, even though I mean, it's uh, they $70. Did ex- they did explain why it's $70. It has the new they- Rumble technology. It has gyros. Yeah, once yeah. I explained that, I became a little less iffy on it, although I'd probably only get one of those, and then if I wanted any more pads like that, I'd probably just go for the Hori, honestly. That's yeah, like, that's, that's yeah. 30 bucks. Yeah, I'll probably just, like, get one of each of those. I'll probably like get the, the... There's a Hori pad that has the functions of the... No, uh... no, 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 no. I, I'm just saying that, like, I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to need more than, <laughs> like, two full controllers for this thing. Okay. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know if, when I'm going to get it, so... Mm. It's very iffy on me, but I'm a lot more better on it now than I was, like, what, three days ago? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. I mean, before I was so against it because that's, you know, the paywall thing. Right. Hopefully it won't be as much. We'll have to wait and see. Like, there's still... And there are two ways they can go. They can reveal more details about it, make it worth as much as the other ones, or they can make it cheaper. So yeah, they're they're like before people get to like the doom scen like the uh, scenario where it's sixty dollars for so much less. There are two there are two things we don't know that could easily change that. See, I I have a I have another option on that one that I'd personally like them to try out. What but, if they had like different price points for the online? Like, they seem to be learning a lot from mobile, right? Uh-huh. And, you know, on mobile games, you have, like, this... You know, mobile apps and mobile games, you have, like, the subsidized ones, right? Yeah. Where, like, I don't know, you watch 30 seconds of ads, and then you get, like, free for the day or something? I can't really see them doing that. I know, uh... but, like, could you imagine that, though? That'd be pretty cool. Like, I mean, I would say... I'd say what right? they should do instead is, um... Just make a cheaper one that only gives you online play, no I mean, yeah, deals, would, no yeah, free that would NES work. games. Yeah, like a, because I ahead. mean to tell you the truth, some of the because you said we're paying for the feature. Half of us, even though we could probably afford the most expensive version, probably wouldn't use the features. I mean, yeah, it would depend on what the features are. Because like on like with PS4, I probably appreciate the free PSN Plus games more than the online play. Yeah, I'm thinking that like. Nintendo could probably have like either a a mini direct or they're probably just gonna post it in like one of their PRs about like well, certain I was, features. I was talking about like the um you know, the party line and the chat thing. Yeah, I think he just means that he wants like just straight up, okay, can I just have internet play with my friends for less money? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it'd be fine if they did that. They should and they because, should do that. Um, just because we'd be using Skype or if it ever worked better, Discord. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean that's an issue. That's an issue of everything. Like Skype and Skype is better than the P than Sony's. Like I, I have never once used the built-in voice chat on I know, Sony's PS4. Is, um, like, yeah, I, Sony's voice thing is not good at all. Yeah, I used it once, like on PS3. I used it for Resident Evil 5 because you cannot play that without voice support. Like, well, like co-op, and it was not good. I did not have Skype at the time. If I did, I would have unquestionably used that instead. Right. Yeah. But it was, it was, overall, like, I really enjoy myself playing Switch games. Um, and this makes me, makes the wait for the Switch even tougher now. Are you excited for the, let's see, is the Direct next week? Yeah, Wednesday. Okay, so are you excited for that? The Fire, yeah. Fire Emblem's Warriors? Yeah, but I'm thinking they're also going to reveal the, the Fire Emblem mobile game. That would make a lot of sense, honestly, because, you know, that has been... 
in the pipeline for a while. Yeah. There could be, like, a new Fire Emblem game in development for the Switch other than the Fire Emblem Warriors, but I w- if if they reveal anything, it probably might just be, like, a small teaser, and we'll probably oh, yeah, get more at E3. Yeah, Fates came out just a year ago, so yeah, it's probably going to be a bit before we get a mainline Fire Emblem game on Switch. Yeah, yeah came I'm out- hoping that to get Hyrule Warriors at some point. Yeah. I'm actually hoping, I know it's like pointless at this point, but I would like the, um, the Switch, um, um, the one on the uh, 3DS to be ported to Switch with all the DLC. Yeah. Like, it looks, it looks as good as the Wii U version, all the content for the 3DS, plus more content that isn't on either version. Like, sure. I mean, I and, they could, and they could put in a pack for like Breath of the Wild characters. Yeah, that'll be great. Like that's um like that's the main thing since they just released Mario Maker on 3DS. I think they should wait to make Mario Maker 2 on Switch until its 2D Mario is out, so they'll have a new theme to use in it. Yeah, that makes sense. Although I wouldn't mind them bringing back some other old themes that they didn't quite work. Well, yeah, they can have more than one theme. I mean, if you had like Mario USA and Mario 2D Mario Switch, then I'd well, probably yeah, be also, enough. You could do Super Mario Land 2. I'd really like that. And if they if and if they wanted to, they could, they could create some like original custom themes based on like other Nintendo series. Or also, even... I'm wondering if they're gonna make a new Mario Maker. <laughs> I mean, that's why we said they. Oh, I'm sure they. Mario Maker sold well. They will eventually. Oh, I, 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 I thought you were talking about something else. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. But what I'd like to see would be, how about a theme based on, like, um, Mario and Luigi, or Paper Mario? Did anybody see Mario know. Brothers 2? Yeah, yeah. Well, that was, like, the first thing we might That was, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I think well, have I that, been? I might be zoning out here. <laughs> yeah, I think they would, um, I feel like... I don't know if they would put in something that wasn't originally a platformer for a theme. That would probably require a little too much changing stuff. I mean, I guess they could put in a Super Paper Mario theme, but I'm not sure if they would. I got I one mean, other one. Okay. How about um, one based on Yoshi's Island for Super Nintendo? Like, they make custom themes for that. Well, that would take a lot of work, but it would be interesting. Yep. Yeah. I'd um, say if they... If for that, me, I guess they always make Super Yoshi Maker, have Yoshi's Island, Yoshi's Woolly World. They would probably put in Yoshi's Story, but yeah, I would go out of my way not to use it. Yeah. Um, like, because there's a lot of things I really want to see, but um, there's still the rumor Smash version, which it could still happen. And same thing with Pokemon Stars. It That could also still happen, but w- who knows? Yeah, there was, um, like, a possible leak on like some European retailer that claimed it was getting, uh, they had listings for Assassin's Creed, a new 2D Mario, um, Pikmin 4, or as they called it, Pikmin World, and Rabbids Invasion. Yeah. And... I was just hoping that <laughs> the Rabbids RPG was dead, but it turns out it's still alive. I mean, they said before the conference that it had been that wasn't going to be there. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah we'll have to I wouldn't mind probably... a port of Smash on Switch. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, wouldn't I wouldn't mind also seeing Pokémon Tournament. Like, I mean, I'm sure that'll happen because they got the new arcade version with additional characters, and it doesn't look like they're going to be updating the Wii U version anymore. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll, I would have released it this year and had it released around, like, um, s- during the summer, like, a- before or after Splatoon. Yeah, but as far as the Switch goes... um. I or- when I pre-ordered, I got the regular ones, not the neon um, Joy Cons. I did. I did not like how the neon Joy Cons work. I mean, if that had been the only one available, I would have grabbed it just because I was really paranoid about getting a pre-order. But I had a choice, and I chose the gray ones without hesitation. There were actually a lot more pre-orders than I actually thought there would be. Oh well, yeah, I hope like they, they. I hope they bring out more. They will. I mean, they will. I mean, it's. I mean, this is. If if you're not getting. This is mainly for if you want to get one right at launch. I. Unless, barring a 
barring a Wii style <coughs> phenomenon, but if you try to get one later, unless it's like the dead center of the holiday season, there shouldn't be any difficulty. Plus, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're going to come out with more color. I, I, that's the thing I like about the Joy-Cons. It's effectively their way of... Um, I wonder if they'll come out with Midnight Purple. I yeah, mean, John won't let that me have be, that. That would be possible. Uh, yeah. Probably not as a base thing, but that's the cool thing about it is that you can just buy another set. Like, they could also make gold ones and put the Legend of Zelda logo on it. Now, if they were going to do that, they probably would have because Zelda's a launch game. Right. Yeah. I guess they could, I guess they could when a Switch exclusive Zelda comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I also see them doing, like, Based on like the Mario characters, like you have the Mario, Luigi, and all that. Oh man, I would, I would love to see uh, Luigi Green uh, Joy. Yeah, I could, I could see red and green. Ooh, I would love to see a Luigi's Mansion themed one. I could no, see red. And, I could see red and green Joy Cons being released to go along with Mario Odyssey. Yeah. yeah, and speaking of Luigi's Mansion, I'm still banking on the Switch eventually getting Luigi's Mansion three. I agree with that. I think I'm that... sure that will happen because I heard that. Uh, Dark Moon did really well. I mean, how I yeah. it, it did way better. Didn't it sell like two million? Yeah, it sells, didn't it sell something like yeah, it's all at least two million. I want to say it might have even been more, but I'm not sure. It it did better than the original, even though the original one I didn't think it did that bad. But like, yeah. It didn't do that bad. I mean, it was a GameCube game that kind of limited its sales. Like GameCube, a GameCube did not have. It didn't have quite the uh, like Wii U had a re- had an absurd attach rate. The games we we use individual games have done amazing numbers relative to the system sold. Right. Yeah. You know, in terms I, of percentages, they. I'm actually hoping well. for a re-release of the original. Luigi yeah. Same game. here. That'll probably happen. Uh, yeah, I think GameCube Virtual Console is going to happen with it at some point. Now, yeah. KG did bring up something though that um might sort of um negate that. He said that it sounds like they're using uh, digital triggers on the Joy-Cons as opposed to the analogs. And that would be necessary to properly emulate that. Mm -hmm. A lot of GameCube games relied on the analog triggers. So it would be difficult to uh, deal with that, honestly. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff I'm hoping for with the Switch. It's just a matter of when Nintendo announces stuff. I'm surprised that they made a um, arcade stick so early. I wonder if that means that there are any other fighting games in the pipeline. I mean, I know that we got... I mean, already has. Two, we got a Blaze Blue game. I did not expect three fighting games at the reveal event. Yeah. That was kind of, like, shocking. Wait, what was the third one? Arms. Oh, right. Sorry, <coughs> I was thinking, like, 2D fighting games. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't use an arcade stick on arms. Isn't Blaze Blue yeah. confirmed for the Switch? It is. We just yeah. don't know which one it is. Although I'd assume it's probably going to be Central Fiction. Yeah. The um, last one. And I know there's um, Guilty Gear Revelator 2. I'm hoping that goes to the Switch. Well, I know. Well, the amazing thing about that one for me is that it's going to launch simultaneously. It's a DLC update, which coming out of Arc Arc System Works, that is like a miracle. Yeah, and it's going to be launching simultaneously on PS4, PS3, and PC somehow. And if and if the Switch um, gets that, that'll be great too. Like the more PC fighting games. has officially superseded the Xbox One in Japan, and I love it. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, Xbox One, Xbox One surrendered. It it gave all its stuff to PC. Yeah, I just, they, I just think it's funny, is all. And they have. Of course, I mean, this isn't the podcast to talk about, but we know what Microsoft did recently. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Yes, for those of you listening to the podcast, they ha- they did indeed claim that the X-Bone would not play used games. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. They um, really did? Oh yeah, well, that was a, lot, that I mean, was a long did, time ago. Uh, That's I, a... I was joking, like how big the delay was. They they didn't do it recently. They didn't go back on retracting that. But I was implying this. We had recorded this like in 2013 when that was still an uh, issue. I thought they took right. that. 
No, that they did. They they did it before okay. the launch of the system. What what he's what we're really referring to is that they canceled scale, scale down. down, and it sounds like they're also going to sca- cancel uh, Crackdown Three. Oh yeah, yeah they, they're basically going. That. Yeah, they're basically going into full. Well, we don't need we don't really need games mode. Yeah, right, which but is anyway, very weird. But what would you guys like to see on the Nintendo Switch that hasn't been announced yet? Um, Donkey Kong Mar- Country, April Fools. Donkey Kong Country, oh. April Fools. Donkey Kong Country, April Fools. Let's no, see, but 2D, what about 2D Mario Ma- Switcheroo? Good. That, I've, I've given up on that. That's why I've got. That's why I'm doubling down on April Fools. Let's see. Um, 2D Mario. Um, <laughs> Kurt. We need a we need a console Kirby platformer. We haven't had that in a while. Yeah, um, since Return to Dreamland. Triple but ho- Deluxe Three. <laughs> hopefully, it's like hopefully. Dude, you like, realize trip. You're going to have to accept this at some point. Triple Deluxe is Return to Dreamland Two. I can't and, hear you. Well, technically, we did ha- technically we did have Return um Return to Dreamland Three, and that's Planet Robobot. And yeah, that's, we that's did. One. Yeah, yeah. I didn't say. Yeah, I'd say Triple Deluxe and. Planet Robot are probably better than Return to Dreamland, but they are clearly the same type of Kirby game. They are for if, if, if triple if Plant Robobot is triple deluxe two, then it's just as reasonable to say it triple deluxe is Return to Dreamland two. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. I also wouldn't mind another Kirby spinoff game, although I hope to God that they don't. Oh wait, I know what I want on there. If they're still doing Wii U ports, I want. Uh, Rainbow Curse on there. Yeah, they should yeah. do that because, like, the main reason... Like, my, my Wii U does not have enough range to get to where I play portable games, and Rainbow Curse I barely played because I could not stand playing it on anything but the touchscreen, and it's uncomfortable to be looking at the touchscreen the entire time while I'm playing near my TV. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just gonna hope for Luigi's Mansion 3, even though it seems more possible than most things. Yeah, I'm looking for... I'm looking... Hope, I'm hopefully sure that we might get some other stuff. Like, yeah, I, yeah well, I mean, like, Met- Metroid is almost confirmed. Like, Reggie... Like, you, you, Reggie's thing where he implied they'd announce Metroid and Mother 3 within a year. Like, he wasn't even asked about Metroid. They said, where's Mother 3? He said, well, you keep asking about that. Aren't you going to also ask me about Metroid? All I can say is check back in a year. Yeah, and then there's also... Here, here's what I also want. The next game in the Kid Icarus series. Like, I mean... Considering, I mean, that was already confirmed for 2037. <laughs> uh, don't do this to me. I know the game said that. <laughs> I'm not waiting another 25 years. Sorry, well, to in keep this case, you waiting. Well, in this well, case, I mean, 20 years. I mean, Dari's having been waiting for his favorite game of the year. Oh, it was yeah. supposed to be out in 2014. But yeah, Persona Five, but which is not going to come to the Switch. But well, I know, but know like that. it was Go never going to. How many years did uh, uh, Dari say he waited? I like, mean, was he counting like I, as soon as he beat Persona Four? Well, in that case, it's negative three. <laughs> well, he never <laughs> finished it. <laughs> he didn't, and that's why it's like, oh, so you beat Persona Three and Four? Well, no, but and but I'm just I know like, what you know what's is... funny. I think he told me or told us that he had it all the way paid off even before. Yeah. yeah. They came with a special, special edition. I think he, he just upgraded up- to that. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was supposed to be on just the PS3, I think. Right. Go ahead, Shell. Yeah, but Shin Megami Tensei 5, running on the Unreal Engine 4. But yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it was, I mean, it was going to be on only on PS3 when it was first announced, but why would you make something exclusive to a system that was 599 US dollars? Um, I am kind of impressed by that Dragon Heroes 1 and 2 thing. Yes, please bring it over here. I want to get it. They probably will. Yeah, I, mean, I will. Let's see, um, how, like, how, how detrimental, like, how detrimental would not being able to read it be if they, for some reason, didn't bring it over here? I care. I mean, I, I'd like to read it. Yeah, I would too. I was just checking, but again, I probably. I mean, won't, they already but yeah. have translations for both of them. 
as Square is giving it a lot of support. They that's two Dragon Quest games, like plus a plus two games together, two spin-offs together. It has that new game, the 2D one that Ice Pick it always tells Dari doesn't exist. No, Dari told me it doesn't exist. He said that Octopath Battler is a figment of my imagination and that the JRPG is dead and buried. And then whenever I say that, he says, no, I said it was dying. There's a difference. <laughs> then I, I there, say, I not really. Is technically a Basically, what well, Icepick is saying is, uh, Dari said something, and Icepick will never let him live it down. As Dari said, turn-based RPG, or he said JRPGs are dying. We, I, we showed very clearly they weren't. He said, well, I meant turn-based ones, so now every time anything gets a turn-based RPG, Icepick won't shut up about it, and Dari later, like, retconned that, too, on consoles, which he is kind of right about. I mean, this is, this for one thing, this wasn't announced yet, and we had no indication it would be, and there still aren't that many on, like, full retail turn-based See, the, uh, see the ironic thing about it, though, is that I'd say that JRPGs, or, sorry, turn-based RPGs probably work better on handhelds. Yeah, I'm actually, like I said, I'm I'm okay with them mainly being on handhelds. Like, I've been, been having a lot of trouble getting into turn-based RPGs recently by me. Like, it, they are, like, a lot less common on consoles than they used to be and stuff like... I mean, I would like them more on consoles as well, but I don't mind them on handhelds. I would have picked up yeah. Earthbound Beginnings if they had put it on the 3DS. That's all I really have to say. They'll probably just put it on the Switch. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, I know. I'm just saying that I would have picked it up if, in addition to right. putting it on the Wii U, they had also put it on the 3DS. I would have bought that thing, like, early on. Yeah, it wasn't, I know. I would it have isn't really all that great. I know, but, like, it would have been, like, interesting to play through it, at least. Yeah, but... but, uh, but uh, the yeah, fact, I mean, the hope, fact there's... Sorry, go ahead. I'd say, I'd say they should probably, considering how long it took, when Mother 3 finally gets released, they should probably make it a trilogy collection. Yeah, and... Yeah. Just don't use the GBA ports. But for Fine, the, GB, the GBA ports added the run feature. Oh, in that case, translate the GBA ports. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look at how I like, <laughs> backpedal. I know, right? Um, but no, but as far as the Switch and JRPGs, there's a lot more JRPGs on it than there are on Wii U. Well, yeah, that's what people are saying. Oh, so that's where all the turn. So that's where all the JRPGs were hiding. Yep. Um, well, let's there's see. quite a few on PC now, too. Yeah, let's well, yeah, see. yeah, but most of those are just old. So far, ones. we got Disgaea yeah, 5. We got Shin Megami Tensei on the way. Um, uh, Xenob Battler. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Which oh, yeah, I, that, that's, that, that, that was impressive to me, too. I, I, like, had no, I, I did not expect that at all, and that is, that is just so comforting, because, yeah, I did not like Xenoblade X all that much. Yeah, not a lot of people did, but this I mean, one. Kay, helped. would you say that you're really feeling it? Yes, I am feeling this. Uh, I mean, well, when Xenoblade X was first announced, I was feeling it because there was. I mean, looking at the initial screenshots, I mean, there's no way you're, I, to say, okay, this is going to feel like a WRPG and the you know ride robots that completely ruin it. But um, yeah, with Xenoblade Two, I am definitely feeling it. It looks it feel it looks a like, even, like, the image, it looks so much brighter than Xenoblade X did. Yeah, I noticed that I wonder that why as they well. changed the gameplay that much. I, mean, I, I don't know, but they realized, they realized before they released it, it was a mistake. Like, before X came out, like, the main producer of Xenoblade said, oh, yeah, if we get to make a third one, we're definitely going back to doing a JRPG. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> Let's see. As far as a vote of confidence there. But as far as other games I want, um well more Capcom support. So Ultimate <laughs> not Ultimate, um Marvel Infinite. Well, yeah, people um, also Ultimate say, Marvel Infinite. A lot of people are actually saying that there's a rumor circulating that they're gonna put Ultimate three on the Switch, and if it does well, they'll put Infinite on there as well. Just put in, just put Infinite on there. Um and let's see, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. That's probably happening. Um, Monster Hunter. Like, That's also probably happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and where else would that go? Yeah, not to mention, like, Capcom can also maybe, you know, bring back a certain blue robot that I mean, I, I, I think for. they do have a decent 
I mean, there's a pretty strong rumor that, like, makes a lot of sense that we will finally get a Mega Man this year, and I see no reason that wouldn't have a Switch version. And you know and you know what would also be nice? Another return? How about a return of the Ghosts and Goblins series? Because that one I find much less likely, honestly. Yeah, I mean, that does not Not an anniversary year. Yeah, and Mega Man, like, Capcom never... They probably did at one point. They have not like deliberately abandoned Mega Man. It's just taking forever because I mean they keep like advertising. See, I, I, do believe, on that. I do believe that it was spite at first. Yeah, I think that they abandoned him for a couple of years out of. Spite. I mean, that, well, that's what I said. Like I then after that as, they're like, oh shit, what do we do now? I really think. Yeah, it, I, I really think it was. I was speaking that it was it at first. It might have been spite, but they've clearly like by the time Mega Man showed up in Smash Brothers, they had gotten over that. Yeah. Yeah, when Smash, it, and especially like the year after, like when it was the Invitational, and there was so many people who put up their like character signs and and showed off Mega Man. I bet Capcom was looking and just kicking themselves. Like yeah, they're, they're, they're like tugging at the going, Yo. Yeah, I was like, wait a second. So everyone is every. Yeah, it is like they saw like Nintendo shows Mega Man. Everyone goes absolutely berserk, and they're like. What? Uh oh! I am. Wait, do we have a re- do we have an actual reason for killing this character? No, we were mad at Inafune. He crashed. Oh, we, and we, have, down we have to act. We have to act quickly. I mean, he's gonna make Mighty Number no. Nine soon. That's gonna be so big. Oh God! <laughs> oh Mighty God! Number no- Don't even mention that name. <laughs> oh God! My Actually, God. I remember people joking that that was going to be one of the reveals: a Switch version of Mighty Number. No. Oh God! Oh God! A Switch no, version of Mighty Number no. 9 would never make it out until it was time for N8. Oh, and, um... I mean, yeah. what I want out of the 30th anniversary, just re-release 9 and 10, and I'll call it I'll call it even. Let's see, 9 and 10, plus a new game, and... Mega Man um, X9. They'll pro- that's probably what they're worth. Considering I mean, the I fact would, that they're putting X into Infinite, and they I mean, say I would, that the I would, going to... I, yeah, I would say X9 is more likely than I would have said before the Infinite trailer that it was. Yeah. Classic's dead. Long live the blue bummer. No. That's my I, other That's my other name for him. And not, honestly, in addition to being the Windows I, I, Vista I, of Mega Man, you I do know realize that the, the blue bummer people who now. like Mega Man X also like um, Classic. Uh, classic. Yeah, but they like X more. So. No, I like them both about the same. I just don't like the other Mega Mans. No, so I, like, I like I like X more. Wait, I mean, is that, that his name, like... Volnet? Yeah. And you uh, and you hate uh, you hate Mega Man Trigger because you like Classic more. No. No, but here's okay. Here's... So then, why do you think I hate Classic because I like X more? I didn't specifically I... say you guys. I just saw a lot of people like when Mega Man Ten came out, people were pissed. But yeah, that wasn't because they hate him. It was because I mean, it would have been better to give us X Nine just be out of fairness because they yeah, already like, did. I'd say that Ten is probably the best classic game ever at this point, honestly. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, I mean that doesn't mean that they shouldn't have made an X Nine, and they could have made both and half kill the series for like seven years. Well, anyway, let me just say this. Um, but I would not be surprised if they decide to do like X Nine, and it's a lowered budget game compared to like making like. A new classic game that's bigger budgeted. I think and... they might hire Inchi Creates to do it, and I think that's I mean, interesting. I am I am fine if X9 is lower budget. That is what I want. Like they can at some point I mean, they can try they can to make, make it 16 bit, and I'll be that's happy. what they yeah. that's what's probably going to happen. Yeah, yeah, make it look just make it look and play just like the SNES games. I want a level pack. We have needed that for so long. If they do that and do it well, then they can make X10 and do whatever kind of innovations they want. But before they take a risk, give us the freaking X9 we've needed for. It's been 20 years at this point since X4. I will what, only what? accept X9 if. Zero is playable. What? Uh, I'm pretty sure Zero will be playable. He's been playable in almost all of them except for like what the first one and the what first other two. One? Yeah, the, the first one. and the third one. He he was. Only and the third one, playable. he wasn't fully playable, but he was playable. He was playable yeah. And and then um, what I would do. I mean, to tell you the truth, I'd be okay if they took um, they left Axel out. No oh, they will. Yeah, we could do without Axel. I, I would be shocked if Axel was in X9. What they should do, also, like, have Inti Creates 
finish up um, the ZX series. Like, yes, dude, I want the last game in that. Tri- it was a trilogy, and they stopped on two. I'm angry about because what game? The ZX Man- series. Oh. Yeah, because there were two on DS. There were two on and- DS. The second one did better than the first one, but then they were just like, eh, let's kill it before we finish off the story. You know, yeah, I, I never played those. Oh, that's yeah, because this- that's because Mega Man Zero is the only one allowed to have an actual ending, apparently. Well, Battle Network got two endings. If In- you get I mean, there is one other Mega Man series. I mean, how about this? Finish, like, other series and keep Classic and X going. Like yeah, the, keep, yeah, X and Classic, I think, are the most popular out of all the Mega Mans. I what mean, I would I do... Think, go ahead. I know, I was just going to say, I think that's like, those are the two series from Mega Man that people don't really want to see ending. Battle Network, eh. Battle Network's Legends, already over. Yeah, I mean, what I, no, what I, I would I'm, 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 I'm just mentioning okay. games. Legends should get at least one sequel. The third one should be maybe what? a little different. I mean... But X and Classic should keep going because people like those games, and I don't see people like saying, "Okay, it can die now." Yeah, I think that they Mega Man Legends have 3D. better stella, 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 storytelling of it. You know, what I would do is I would give them. I, I would just I would make a big I would make big finale games for X and Classic, then indefinitely keep making gameplay sequels that take place between them because it is. You do not need a strong, in-depth story for either one. That's the thing, though. That's why I don't really want a finale for the classic ones, because, I mean, the classic games always struck me like they were going for, like, a Saturday morning cartoon, and you, know, you never really saw an ending to most of those, right? Yeah. I mean, okay, what if they what if they just gave it a canonical finale, but it wasn't a game in the classic series? It was, like, just told as a flashback or maybe even a nostalgia stage in the next game okay i would all right that that i would be all right with all right okay. but um let's see other games that i want um i want more sonic games i know we're getting two but i like some ported like i like um an hd version of sonic colors can we get sonic boom knuckles taco stand oh god <laughs> first okay, first everybody oh. wants the waluigi taco stand now people want sonic boom no knuckles, people taco, someone is going to make um some I, I guarantee you that within a couple years of sonic 2017 there will be people who want sonic boom back and are complaining that we don't have it oh god no no it once it's gone it's gonna stay gone um no you say that people hated waluigi when he was new they really Really sincerely hated him, and I never look how understood that. that. I, yeah, I never Waluigi. understood I that. Never, I always yeah. loved Waluigi. Waluigi is awesome. Yeah, but, I mean, like, regards about you know, there is going to be a demand. A lot of people hated him, and then people just like as soon as Nintendo stopped using him, people decided they loved him. See, the weird part about it is that Ki is right, but I have a different argument for that one. People have been clamoring for a remake or re sorry, a re-release of. Sonic 2006 so much that now someone's making a fan port of it in Unity on the PC. Oh, so Sonic yes, 16, I am with yeah. KI on this one, just I have different reasons. Yeah, Sonic people... 2006 was an abomination and they're remaking <laughs> it in Unity well, I, on I think PC. it was more disturbing that Sonic was falling in love with a human. Oh, you oh, want to see something disturbing that's Sonic related? <laughs> oh god, no. Oh god. No, it's not fan art, it's worse. I showed oh, yeah. uh, Dari, I showed Bacon, I showed KG, and they all survived it. Okay, oh, then. I'm not. They're not even in what this is. Ball, it, it's, so. it's, not, it's not Chris Chan, is it? Oh no, it's worse. Here, take a look. Okay. Tell me what it is. Now, hold on a second. Shit, I forgot that my uh, <laughs> my keyboard actually died halfway through this. Mm. Uh, let's see. How do I? This thing he's gonna show is just curse. It's gonna. Oh, kill it is us a all. cursed image, actually. That that is true. <laughs> it's gonna kill us in seven days after watching. Yep, probably. Well, no, you'll just wish you were dead. <laughs> okay, I, okay just, so what just is it? Uh, hold on a sec. I'm trying to. Damn it! Why can't I just like? Hold on a second. Me, We're having uh, some technical difficulties right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. You guys keep talking. I'm going to go get okay, some Okay, and um, speaking of Sonic 2006, the fact that people are demanding a remake while at the same time, that is like 
that's the only thing people can use to bash Mario Odyssey. It's it's literally well, Sonic 2006 apparently invented the concept of cities. That's so the weird is, part about that is that I remember like when I was looking at it, I'm like, oh shit, it's like Sonic Adventure. It was <laughs> like Sonic Adventure. I mean, Sonic. I almost is- agree with Ice Pick. It almost does look like he's doing a spin dash, but not really. It's like he's just spinning. Yeah, but he was like yeah. rolling around at the speed of sound. <laughs> got places. Got to places go, to gotta go. Gotta follow, gotta follow yeah, really rainbow. That was supposed to be like Donkey Kong's roll dash. All right, but it really looked like <laughs> Sonic Spin Dash, though. Yeah, it really did. But um, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing like other Sonic games ported to Switch, but if they could just port Sonic CD, that'd be great too. Yeah, I, I, I I'm all for like any kind of ports from any system, especially Turbo Graphics. Not just Rondo of Blood, but who here liked the first two E's original games? You know, just, even though I, they have remakes, did anybody yeah, I want like, what I what I really want is Ease Classic complete. But actually, getting all of those games is re- requires a ridiculous amount of systems. The, the sad, the funny thing is, is that every single Japanese developer and publisher are all signed up on a Switch, except for one, and that's um, Falcom, the company that makes the Ease games. They're the only ones that are not like doing anything right now. Yeah. But well, I just, they're, I they're, they're doing for Steam. The Switch's Japanese support seems a lot stronger than its Western support, which I am fine with. Yeah, I think that um, in the long run, most of the Japanese will stick around, especially since they're gonna they're gonna give us like HD versions of some of the games you would normally see on um, 3DS or DS, whereas the Western, the ones I see staying are Ubisoft. I think Activision will stay for certain series like Skylanders and... Yeah, and with, um, with Rayman Origins definitive, I really hope that means that Rayman... current Rayman 3 is in development somewhere. Yeah, please. Because I never actually got to play Legends. I've only pl- I've only played yeah, Origins. Legends is incredible. Like, Rayman Origins and Legends are... Um, they, it's like... Le- or- Rayman the... Origins is great, but um, if Here's Legends is... They're right. like they're some of my favorite non Nintendo platformers of all time. And if Legends really is even better than Origins, then awesome. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. But oh, hopefully, yeah, it is. I mean, Legends is out already. It's just the Switch. I, I do want to see what the new con. I mean, if they if they add some good new content and make it so you can choose whether to use the touch screen or the normal controls in the Murphy levels, then I might pick it up. Yeah. Oh wait, are you talking about uh, Rayman Legends? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I finally got my keyboard working again, so I posted these horrible images. So what oh, are God. they? Um, I'm gonna let them. <laughs> I'm going to let them describe. <laughs> my guys. Jesus Christ! What? The last one. The last one is what makes it truly <laughs> horrifying. Okay, so tell me what they are okay, now. Okay, it's a um. It's an odd little mannequin of uh, Princess Sally from the um, from Saddam from Saddam in various states of undress. Let's see. The first one has her wearing a denim vest, a uh, white t-shirt, and a denim skirt with some uh, gym shoes. The second one has her just wearing socks and the denim vest. The last one has her in a bikini. And then the bottom one has what the innards look like, which is an an odd looking <laughs> rib cage with bones connected to it. It is truly horrifying. <laughs> Jesus. Bacon Christ. was eating pizza when I showed him this. Well he, he Yeah, he has lost all qua- all right to complain about what he's eating during. I know, right? Up, onwards and upwards. Exactly. Says hello. It is truly the most horrifying image ever <laughs> conceived. So yeah, I think we've covered most of the stuff we can. Yep. Yeah, we have. Um, I actually, I, I'm actually just looking forward to the switch. I, I just really want it to be March third so badly right now. I never thought it would be as early as that. I thought it was yeah, expecting everyone's... the 17th or something. Like, yeah, that's what everyone was predicting. Yeah, 
It's like, it's like, cause I know March 10th was, uh, is PAX East weekend for those who are going to go there. So I'm not going to be able to make it this year since I put money on the switch, but I'm sure the handheld lounge will be filled with so many people playing switch games and everyone's just going to be having a blast playing all these yeah. games. That is one thing I think about. It is going to be. I ain't just start going to street pass meetups again because we all play multiplayer console games there now. Yeah, all these like parties. Not to mention going to like all, let's see esports tournaments as well as um like any type of get-togethers. People are gonna be playing the Switch. Like there'll be at least one or two people bringing it, and then more people might get one of their own. Yeah, they like it. So hopefully this, I really hope this does significantly better than Wii U and GameCube. I don't know how better. I'm not expecting, um, I'm not expecting Wii sales. That's, that's too much. Yeah, I actually like, I actually set out like rankings for the sales. Like, um, let's see, Wii U level sales, uh, this, this says try again, GameCube level sales. Um, well, at least we're going in the right, mo- at least the momentum shifted. Let's see. N64 level sales, um, it would be moderate, okay, SNES level sales, success, NES level sales, big success, re- full revival, Wii level sales, um, impossible, and, <laughs> and phenomenal. Yeah, but it'd be impressive if it, could, if it could at least, in my opinion, I'll be impressed if it could at least match N64 or Super Nintendo sales. Yeah, I mean those those aren't as high as they seemed at the time. Like, I would, like if, it, if it sells fifty, if it sells fifty million over its life, and it's past SNES. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel bad for the Wii U because it seems like it started picking up towards the end of its life. Well, yeah, but then um, at that point, they were just like, "Yeah, let's try again with the next one." I mean, what happened was, yeah, Wii U was treated completely unfairly. It deserved to sell a lot more than it did. Nintendo supported it better than most companies would have. I mean, you saw how Sony acted when they had a system that had similar sales issues. Exactly. Yeah. They, Nintendo never announced a Wii U game, then retracted it an hour later. <laughs> yeah. I don't really think we have anything else to talk about. I think this is yeah, pretty much it. Yeah, I think it. that was it. Yeah. Alright, so I guess we can end it here. All right. Alright. Okay. Thank you guys for listening to the show cast. I hope we do this again soon. Yep. For for Ice Pick, KI and Neko, this has been Shell Shock signing out. Good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.